Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I thought I would do a little bit of um, I guess my coat collection. I was gonna say what's in my coat wardrobe but like my wardrobe is pretty much all coats right now. I have so many, I have them out on a rail. I've got a lot of coats. I do love coats though, I love being cozy, I love being warm. I'm definitely someone that feels the cold um, and I love wrapping up. Alex thinks it's so funny because he can go out and literally like a jumper when it's freezing cold and be fine. But for me, even in October, I was wearing proper coats because um, I feel the cold. I'm gonna start off this video going from like light jackets, um, going into like heavy coats as we go through the video. So if you're looking for more um, heavier wool, thick coats stay to the end because that is exactly what you want but I'm going to start off with like thinner coats, coats you can wear on maybe like a night out. I guess they're more like jackets, shackets and trench coats. Let's get into it. Okay so the first ones I'm going to talk to you guys about are the shackets. So I have two here. This one is a new one, it's from Oasis. It is really really cute, it has these pockets down the front and it is just a really light dog tooth puff sleeve shacket, very very lightweight, quite nice to wear now with a roll neck and some leather trousers. I got it in size 12 and it fits really really nicely. I love the kind of black and white um, dog tooth, hound's tooth design and then it has the ability for you to do it up and button it which is a little bit more preppy or you can like have it open which is more casual. The reason I picked up this one this year is because last year I picked up this one which is one that, it's not even last year, I think it was the year before that I picked up this one and it is a shacket that Alex has stolen from me. So it now sits in Alex's wardrobe. <laughs> he absolutely loves this uh, shacket. It fits both of us. It was the H&M collection that came out and it was a, um, uh, what's the word? Unisex collection. I mean, all clothes can be worn by anyone, but this collection specifically came out modeled by women and men on their website. So I picked this one up. I got it in a small to medium because it was very oversized already. I'm only five foot two in case you're new here. And so I picked this one up. It is still one of my faves. It's nice and thick. It's much thicker than the other one. They don't sell this one anymore, but they sell very similar. You can also get similar on ASOS. Monkey, I think do a similar one and H&M do a similar one this year as well. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. It just works with so many kind of cream colours, that sort of like autumn winter palette, gorgeous. Love to just throw this on with again like a roll neck and a pair of jeans or a little skirt and tights. Very, very easy to style. Next up I have my favourite trench coat. This one is from All Saints via Oatrium. It was part of a paid collab but I absolutely love this trench coat. I really do. Obviously All Saints is very pricey so I'll link similar ones down below that aren't as pricey that you can get on like ASOS, again H&M, like shops like that are really quite good for finding um, cheap alternative trenches. New Look has a really nice one in. I absolutely love this one. I think it's really good quality. It feels like butter, it feels so soft. Um, I got it in a size medium and it fits perfectly. I'm a 10 slash 12 in coats and I absolutely love it. Trench is like ideal for styling for autumn winter just because you can layer with it so easily because it is thin. So if it's not that cold out, you can definitely get away with styling with a roll neck, maybe layered with a um, sweatshirt like this and then this on top with a pair of jeans or leather trousers, boots, skirt, whatever you wanna wear. So versatile. Um, I've been layering this with a blazer underneath and it looks really, really preppy, really cute and also very warm. It's definitely a jacket that I'm going to be wearing now for maybe the next few weeks until it gets very cold <laughs> then probably putting it away until spring rolls around and then getting it back out again around March time. It's definitely not something that I would wear um, in the height of winter like December, January, February like snow months shall we call them but I love this for styling in the autumn and then bringing it back out again in the spring. Okay so this one is technically a coat but I'm gonna call it kind of a light coat trench jacket situation because it is quite thin. This is from H&M. Um, I got it in a size 10 and it is about two, maybe three years old. I've had it a long, long time now and it's still one of my favorites. Um, it's just such a gorgeous color. It's like neutral, it's like herringbone and it is, yeah, it's essentially a wraparound trench. It is slightly thicker than that trench, it is lined 
but it is a good in between sort of coat for when we're kind of floating in between seasons. This is slightly more difficult to layer up with because the arms are slightly thinner, it's slightly more tailored look, so you could probably get away with wearing this with a roll neck, again like black trousers, black leather trousers, something like that, um, and then having this on top and it probably would be enough. It's about as thick as a blazer is, so it's a good alternative if I don't want to wear a blazer, if I want to wear something longer, something a little bit more um, shapely so I can tie it at the waist. This is something I definitely gravitate towards. Um, I'll try and link some below as well, more like trench kind of blazers because they're a really good staple to have for that sort of in-between stage of it not being really cold and snowy like January and February are like the snowy cold months this is still quite good for November and going into the beginning of December and then every year I put it away like the trench and get it back out for spring so um, yeah, this is definitely a winner for me. I've had it for three years and I absolutely love it. I cannot do this video without having a little leather love. This is my new purchase, my leather purchase for the season. This is from Misguided. It is an oversized boyfriend biker jacket. I absolutely love this. It's so oversized. I've thrown this over so many different outfits. You know, sort of when you're at home and then someone's like, let's go out for drinks, let's go out for dinner. It's happened so many times. This I grab and throw over whatever I'm wearing and it instantly looks cooler. Plus, it's such a good jacket for like night out. So for like sparkle season, imagine like silver sparkles underneath this jacket. So cute and also keeps you really nice and warm. Um, because this is oversized, you can layer with it too. Um, all in all, I absolutely love this jacket. And if you don't have an oversized leather jacket in your wardrobe, what are you doing? Speaking of leather, next up is this leather trench. You're gonna see it so much better, I think, in the cutaway because showing you like this is really difficult because it is black. Um, I'm hoping it's catching quite well though. Um, I absolutely love this faux leather trench. I mean, what can you say? I absolutely love a trench and this one, because it is faux leather, it is warmer, much warmer than a normal trench coat like the one that I showed you before. Kind of a standard, typical, for, more formal MAC trench coat. This one, it because it is that faux leather, it's so much warmer. I love that you can belt it up and instantly give a bit more of a feminine shape, but it still stays really nice and edgy. This with docks and straight leg jeans and a black roll neck, such an easy outfit that just like says sheep. I absolutely love it. I've got this one in petite. Um, from Misguided, but they do a lot of other ones. They do like plus size, tall, they do a variety on there. I'll link some similar ones down below, but I've worn this so much and I absolutely love it. I think it would look really cute styled with like a gray hoodie as well and a beanie. So I might be styling that soon, but yeah, I absolutely love it. Next up is kind of cropped coats. So coats that come up a little bit shorter than your average coat, just because these are like less warm, but still really cute. This is one that I've had again for two years. It's from ASOS. And it's just a camel short coat. Kind of formal, kind of not. I love the collar, it's very Parisian. Absolutely love it. I get so many questions about this coat every time I wear it. And I'm so confused as to why ASOS haven't brought it back for this season. I don't even think they brought it back for last season. Why? Because it is honestly one of the most complicated, com it is one of my most complimented coats that I've ever worn and I still get complimented on it every time I wear it, every year, like every season I wear this. So um, yeah, I would very much like it if ASOS brought this back. I'll try and find similar and link them below. I think and other stories might have a really similar one and H&M. I will have a look, I'll link down below. But yes, this is one of my favorites. It's so easy to style, like ridiculously easy to style. I love just styling this with like a cream roll neck and a skirt and tight situation. This looks so good with mini skirt and tights. I absolutely love it. Next up is this one. This is actually, um, I'll show it, so you'll see it so much better on me. It is a reversible coat. So I actually picked this one up from Topshop. Before Topshop went into administration, I actually picked this up in the store. And I'm so glad I did because it's reversible, so you can have it this way around, so it's got that exposed kind of teddy um, borg, borg material with the leather, really cute, and then the pockets, and then you can flip it inside out. You can flip it inside out and then have it like teddy on the outside and a faux fur, a faux um, leather uh, collar, and then the pockets 
are faux leather as well. So you can flip it back to front and have two completely different looks. I'm so surprised that they didn't bring this out in other colors, in other textures. I'm surprised that their new owner ASOS hasn't jumped onto this design and made it in a different color or maybe a different material because it's so genius. And I absolutely love that if we're packing to go somewhere, I think I brought this coat when me and Alex went to visit his parents last year. Um, and it was quite cold and I was like, oh, I don't want to bring too much because it's going to be bulky. The car's full, like with presents, I think it was for Christmas or something. And I packed this coat and every day I could just turn it inside out and I would have a completely different look. And I'm just so surprised they haven't bought this back. I will try and link similar ones to this and then the other way around down below because as far as I'm aware, I don't think any other brand has done it so that there is like, it's interchangeable, but I will link um, individual coats that look like both sides of these down below because honestly I, I can create so many styles with both of these coats so even if it wasn't reversible I would still have a coat that I could have loads of looks from it's just such an easy coat to style plus because of that teddy material it's so nice and warm I get compliments every time I wear this and because this is so warm because it's got the faux leather and the teddy um, material I can wear this with a single roll neck thin jumper and be warm because it is just so thick and it has a, a lot of layers to it so i'm so surprised that asos slash top shop haven't brought this out again because i'm still in love with it okay so now i have a puffer jacket coat to share with you guys it is my favorite again you're gonna see a trend here it's black and it's got this teddy and um, collar on it i love it i just think that it looks so cute it has a tie waist this is from asos by the way i'll link it down below this is in petite but um i think they do tall and regular size as well it's got a tie waist so you can tie it up you can just cinch the waist you can leave it undone if you want um i the only gripe i have with this is that it doesn't have a hood i really really wish that this one came with a hood, but I think it was the only design that they had similar to this that was in petite and that would have been appropriate for my height. So I am quite gutted that there was no hood, but we move, um, it is still a lovely coat. I wear this all the time. Again, um, if we're running errands, if we're going shopping, I literally just throw this on whatever I'm wearing and it just looks cute. It's also really good for walks because it is black and it's also, I wouldn't say water resistant, but it's got that puffer material that means that it's not like, it's not gonna get soaking wet, if you know what I mean. This with a nice cream beanie, some leather leggings and some walking boots and you are good to go for like country winter walks. I love it. Okay, okay, let's talk about this coat. Let's talk about this coat. So, the amount of times I get asked where this coat's from and in advance, I'm sorry. This coat is last year new look and they decided not to bring it back this year, which I think was a massive mistake. I think it would have been guaranteed money for them to bring this back. I get so many compliments every time I wear this. It's literally just a big woolen coat with a very simple black and white check, nothing over the top. It's a bit picnic blank blankety, picnic blankety, um, to be honest, but it's very heritage, very chic because of the kind of thin line design. I absolutely love it. It's got a tie waist. It just works with everything. The sleeves are cuffed, so it like fits really nicely. I wear this all the time. Every, I'm, I'm just never gonna get rid of it. It's just such a staple. And it scares me that New Look hasn't brought this back because if I ever did get rid of this, I'd give it away, sell it, whatever. I don't think I'd ever find it again and I would be heartbroken. And I'm sorry in advance because they do not sell this anymore. I will link it down below similar. They have this style coat in this year in a tan check, I think. I'll link them down below. So it's the same style coat if you like the style. It's just a different colorway. Um, maybe keep an eye on their website. They might be bringing it back. I don't know, but yeah. I will link, try and link as close as possible down below, but unfortunately they just don't make this coat anymore. Next up is this Chet bad boy. This one, again, you're gonna see so much better on me because it's just so big, but it is honestly the most cuddly warm coat you will ever wear. Like, it's just so cozy. This one is the River Island Studio Collection, which is the more expensive side of River Island, but I think it's totally worth it. This is just such a statement coat. I think this on top of like a plain black outfit is just 
it's almost like that black coat that I just showed you just amplified a little bit more because of the big check pattern. Can you see that? I'm obsessed. It's just stunning. Um, it's a tiny bit long on me, but I will just let that pass because quite honestly, I don't think I'd find <laughs> another coat like this that just looks this good in like in petite. I just don't think that a brand would make such a niche product. But if I wear a pair of chunky boots, it does not look that long on me. It is supposed to be oversized, it's supposed to be cozy. And I love that about it. It's definitely a statement coat. It's not for like everyday wear, but it's something a little bit jazzy, maybe for the evening, maybe you wanna uplift your outfit. This is the coat to wear. Next up is this white coat. This one is, it's not a short coat, but it's more like a three quarter length. So I'm gonna include it in here because it is one of the heaviest coats that I own. It's ASOS Design Petite. I got it in a size 12. I'm gonna see if they do this coat still. This was a last year purchase. I love the tortoiseshell buttons. I love that it's like a thick wool kind of material. It's got pockets, it's cozy, really great for layering with all neutral outfits. It looks so, so good with neutrals like this. It just uplifts the whole outfit. Very kind of wintry because it's like winter whites. I absolutely love it. It has gotten a little bit, uh, what's the word, like marked on our journey here. Um, I think it was in one of the bags and it must have just got like marked on our journey. So I need to take it to the dry cleaners um, because it's just a little, just a little bit. Um, but I absolutely love it. And I am so, so, so happy with the look of this coat and the wearability of it. If you haven't got like a white slash off-white cream coat yet, I think it's a really good investment. Just like a plain black coat is a very good investment. A neutral coat is a very good investment. A kind of creamy white coat is also a very good investment because those three kind of colors um, are going to work with everything in your wardrobe. That brings me on to my last coat, which is my favorite, my favorite coat I own. Okay, this is the coat and the primary reason that I like this coat so much is that it has a hood. It has a hood. It is just an adorable all-round coat. It's it's thick. It's really, really well made. It's got these lapels. It just is a stunning coat. It's got a waist tie. It's in petite. Um, it is extremely oversized. So I would say I am about a... I would say I'm a 10 to 12 in coats, really. I like them slightly more oversized. My normal size is a size 10, so I like to size up in coats. I actually got this coat in a size six after reading the reviews online, which said size down at least two sizes. And I was like, okay, um, the eight was out of stock. So I was like, I'll go for the six. People are saying it's oversized, but I mean, it might be a little snug. And this fits perfectly. It's just the weirdest thing they just sized this completely wrong. Yes, it's an oversized coat, but this is oversized on me and it's a size six. I can't imagine it on a true size six. So please do keep that in mind. If you're ordering one, like a coat like this off ASOS, read the reviews because people aren't lying. <laughs> They're being serious. This coat is very, very oversized. I absolutely love it though. It's in the shade Mushroom online, which I think is a very true shade match for this one. It's like a lovely kind of, dusty beige brown like it's, it's weird um i absolutely love it though it's so unique and this is my neutral coat so um that black check one is my black coat the cream off white coat is my cream off white coat and this one is my neutral coat so those are my three most worn coats which are the last three-ish that i've shown you and yeah they are and yeah, they're a staple in my wardrobe. I will link similar ones to this one if this one has gone out of stock. They have a lot in brown or like these brown tones um, on ASOS because it's such a big color for this year. I will link them down below because this, ever since I got it, I've worn it all the time. And I love that it has a hood. I will link some coats down below that also have a hood that I found that are cute because I, I've struggled for so long to find a cute coat that also has a hood, as you saw with the puffer one that I had. Um, I just, that none of these coats have hoods because I think that brands think that it ruins the shape, it ruins the kind of aesthetic of it. And honestly, I fell in love with this coat because it had a hood. Okay guys, that's everything for today's video. That's my coat collection. And I, I love every single one of them. Every year Alex is like, do you need more coats? And really I don't. I think now that I've got that mushroom kind of coat, 
I, the only thing that I would really want is a nice tailored black coat that's just black, that has no stripes or anything, and maybe one coat that's like coloured, because I can't currently have no coloured coats. As you can probably tell, they are all neutrals, but I don't need any more like leather jackets, or um, I've got that leather trench, which I really like as well. I don't need any more trenches, um, but maybe I need a puffer coat with a hood, I think, probably. I'm looking more towards practicality, so... I'm going to be keeping an eye out for things like puffer jackets with a hood, puffer coats with a hood, um, wool coats with a hood, because every year I buy a nice coat, go to put it on and then realise it's raining. And the rain here in winter has a wind to it, you know? So um, using an umbrella sometimes is not an option because it's too windy. And then I just take it off and then I put my own coat with a hood on. Also, I know some people are like, oh, wear a jumper with a hoodie on it this hair does not fit in a hood <laughs> and then if it does a hoodie is not necessarily waterproof so it just gets wet so i think i'm just gonna be keeping an eye out for for me personally for a coat with another coat with a hood that's maybe like waterproof but if you're looking for a coat similar to these ones that i've shown you i love them all they're all staples in my wardrobe and i will be keeping them all for the foreseeable future I will link similar ones down below in case you guys want to shop similar ones. If you have any requests that you want to see what else is in my wardrobe, so maybe like my shoes or my jeans or my jumpers or something, let me know in the comments down below because I can film those for you. Let me know what your favourite coat was also in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you lovely lot in the next one. Bye!